Hey, how's it going? All you crazy people out there doing solar. So I am Ben Stanton and I want to answer a question that gets asked of me quite a bit. And that is the problem with three phase battery storage systems in New Zealand. There's a little, I guess it could cover off solar generally in New Zealand, but especially battery systems. Uh, let's get into it. In New Zealand, we have what's called individual phase metering. That's what it says. Yep. So individual phase metering in the rest of the world, except for one other country, I believe it's Gostonia. I've been told that. I don't actually know. Don't really care. Uh, in New Zealand is what I care about. Um, of course, I care about the rest of the world. But in this video, is I care about New Zealand. Individual phase metering. We get billed individually for each phase in New Zealand, whereas the rest of the world gets billed net billing. And that net happens at the meter. So let's go through it. I've got a bit of a little whiteboard set up onto a different camera. So I'm just going to switch to that camera now and we'll have a look at the whiteboard and see what we can learn about this. Okay, so I am going to get rid of that background, otherwise, you guys won't be able to see anything. Right, so we know we've got the grid, right? So we've got an incoming grid. And that grid comes into your home or business through a meter. And I want to go through what happens in a single phase system first, which will really help to understand the problem. So you've got loads coming off your switchboard. This is your distribution board. And you also have a nice solar array with some beautiful panels, freshly put on your roof, hopefully more than six, and hopefully they're on the roof, um, and an inverter. Now that inverter converts from DC to AC use in the switchboard. You've got DC coming off the panels, you've got AC and that goes straight into your switchboard. And the energy that's produced from that inverter will either go to the loads if they're running. That's the first priority. And the second priority, it will go back out to the grid. Okay. And that just happens naturally. You don't really notice what's going on. You get paid around about eight cents kilowatt hour. It's up and down depending on who you're connected with. And you'll charge, you'll get charged something around maybe 25 cents per kilowatt hour. Let's call it 25 cents. Right, the camera's having a bit of trouble focusing, but it seems to be doing all right. So carrying on, that's great. So what this inverter does here is it communicates with a little thing called its own meter. It's called an energy meter. And that energy meter basically just monitors that grid incoming grid point. Now it may be monitoring it here. It might be monitoring it at distribution board, um, but it monitors it between the grid and the loads so that then the inverter um, can see what's going on. And when you add a battery to this, you must have an energy meter. So the energy meter is optional. Um, with just a normal inverter, but when you add a battery, then you need that energy meter because what it does is it will actually see that there are no loads happening here. It knows it's producing energy. And instead of it exporting to the grid, it will start charging the battery with that excess energy. And so instead of giving it away at eight cents, it keeps it. And then when you have more load than there is of solar available, it will, instead of buying in from the grid, it will discharge the battery and that will discharge back into the loads. So that is aiming to keep the grid at zero. That is first prize for a battery, single phase battery, solar power system. Sometimes they're called hybrid systems. 
and whatever. It's just a battery and an inverter and panels, and it's trying to keep the grid at zero so it doesn't cost you anything and you're not selling too much of your energy. Now, let's add a couple of other phases. So switchboard, switchboard. Now, I know you're probably thinking now, hang on a minute. I've got a three-phase switchboard and it's one single board. Okay, that's fine. Effectively, you've still got three individual boards. In fact, in New Zealand, you may think I've got one single meter, so this doesn't apply to me. It actually does apply to you because effectively in that meter, in that single meter, you have three individual meters and they are metering three individual phases coming from the grid. Phase one, phase two, and phase three. And they go out to the board and all the loads run off that switchboard, but they're actually connected electrically to different phases. So, What happens is if you've now got a three phase inverter, let's say you've either got one big inverter and it's actually three phase, or you've got three individual inverters in a single phase, doesn't really matter which one's which, we just pull another two phases off this. Generally that inverter will, if it hasn't got a battery, that inverter will just evenly push energy out into each phase, right? And if you've got loads happening on this phase, but nothing on this phase and nothing on this phase, then these two phases will be exporting, nicely exporting to the grid. And this phase will either be just su supplied by the load or it will actually be importing a little bit if the load's bigger than what's being produced on that phase. Now, in any other country, if you're exporting on here, let's say you're exporting one kilowatt and you're exporting one kilowatt here and you're importing, let's just for argument's sake, say you're importing two kilowatts, then the net total two minus one minus one equals zero. So it's happy, very happy because you're not importing anything and you're not exporting anything when you actually are, but it nets it up at the meter. In New Zealand, however, it meters each individual phase and you get billed on each individual phase. So in New Zealand, for that one kilowatt, you get eight cents. For that one, you get eight cents. And for these two, you get charged 25 cents each. So you're getting charged 50 cents. Not very good. Try that again. 50 cents. Okay. That's how metering works in New Zealand. Individual phase metering. However, you think, well, what's the problem with that? Can't the inverter balance it out? And that is the problem. The energy meter that talks to the inverter is operating in the rest of the world. It operates in net metering mode. So what that means is if this energy meter and this inverter see that you're exporting a kilowatt on here and a kilowatt on here, and it sees that you're importing two kilowatts here, then they're happy. Absolutely fine. No problem at all. However, if you're not exporting on here, you're not exporting a kilowatt there or there because you've got loads coming out here, and everything's balanced and then you suddenly start importing extra two kilowatts here then the net meter says or the the energy meter says hang on a minute he's going to this property is going to be charged for two kilowatts of import so what it will do is it will then discharge extra from the battery on these two phases and it will intentionally export a kilowatt on this phase and a kilowatt on this phase and that means that the net of this in, this meter here, the net will be zero. So in any other part of the world, it will be you'll be charged nothing. 
Whereas in New Zealand, you will still pay 50 cents a kilowatt hour for these and you will only get 16 cents combined of eight plus eight cents on these phases. So it's actually costing you money. And here's the kicker, the real killer, is if it's the other way around. You're, you've got no load on here and you're exporting now two kilowatts here and two kilowatts here. This inverter will see this and it will try and keep this metering at zero. So what's going to happen is it will now import four kilowatts because it's trying to keep your meter at zero. And in New Zealand, that is going to cost you four kilowatts of import when you don't even have four kilowatts of load going on. And you've actually got enough solar to manage all the loads yourself. So a net metered inverter system will not work financially in New Zealand. So there are a few manufacturers around that actually build their energy metering systems and their inverters to do individual phase balancing. And one of those systems is Victron. Victron actually has three separate inverters, one on each phase and one battery to each inverter. Okay, so the other problem that I'm seeing and people are trying to get around this issue. So if we, if we went back to our single phase inverter, you maybe have already thought of this. If we go back to a single phase inverter into a single phase switchboard and it's got a little battery on it. And it's got its little meter. And it's balancing the grid nicely. And everything's happy. Why don't you just duplicate that system there? Why don't we just go another inverter, another battery, Another inverter, another battery, and do it across three phases. Why don't we just treat it like three individual systems? And that actually works. However, there is a problem. Let's say all your batteries are charged up nicely. They're all at 100% at the end of the day because there's been lots of solar everything's happy and overnight the only real loads are coming off this phase the rest of the phase has no load okay so you're going to discharge this battery right down overnight if the load's bigger than what the battery can supply and then it'll go to the grid and it will get the rest of the load from the grid now that's no problem but the real issue there is you've got this battery here and this battery here that you've paid for and that you would want to use and it cannot supply this load so what has to happen is you need a singular battery system you can't just have three individual inverters you need it to be programmed as a three-phase system and you need the batteries to be joined to each other or you just need all the inverters running on one battery one big battery okay and every each inverter is connected to that battery. Now that battery can then be used across all three phases, wherever the load is, and at the same time, individual phase balancing is done by the system. So there are only two systems available that I know of in New Zealand that will actually balance individual phase. One of them is the Victron system. Okay, so that is the video. I'd like to say thanks heaps for watching and I know it's pretty basic and I hope you learned something from it. Cool, please don't ask any questions. <laughs> okay, see ya.